set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. I think it's time we had a gathering. Enter and pass up through the gates to attain to the 32 paths of wisdom. I, but in reference to what? Hey, little star man. Are you ticklish, buddy? Max! Jesus, Max! I didn't see you there. Look, Max, I'm doing some, like, really heavy reading here, and your little toy robot is just not compatible with that type of soul journey, man, okay? Max, hot. Max, it's all right, pal. Look, this just is way too complicated for you. Why don't you go play with your pig or something? See, I'm trying to find the reference to these gates here, and... Ugh, you just would not understand. Max Hoss. Max, this is really advanced philosophical <laughs> literature here, okay? You can't just start pointing to... <laughs> Max, that's it! How did you... Need you in the helm, Wyatt. All right, y'all. We got some hell to raise. You got a boat full of noose, and I got a target. Fucking good one, too. Woo! Right on, boss! Yeah, that's where it's at. That's cool, all right. I dig. Check it out. I sent Specie ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specie's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top-secret underground base where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged-out alien technology. That's well, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? <laughs> Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Hmm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. Das Jürgen. One of our biggest safe keeps. Yeah, it was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeep. Shit. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Yeah, baby. That's where all those big shot jerks running the Nazi war machine hang out. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for. What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Command. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blazkowicz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. Tonight? Oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK Frank's Jeb. Uh, and you should make me happy. Trump that, Wayne. Nothing wrong with that, Jeb. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. 
I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people you are. Yes, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. sure. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world, because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank, dank. Yes, out with it. Dank, dank. My God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Oh, I will, sir. I am. I'm so sorry. Meine Liebe, do you know how beautiful you are? Oh, stop it, you. Ich liebe dich, Alison. Ich liebe dich, Walter. Ich lade dich heute Abend ein. Wir haben nur diese winzigen Ami-Gläser. Aber wir können die Blumenvasen von der Fensterbank nehmen. <lacht> Abgemacht. Jesus Christ. Can't drink any of this. Fucking Crouch shit. 
I took Mary Jane to see his reefing style movie last night. Gee whiz, what a swell movie. The floor sure cleaned up Hollywood from all that prey filth they show in the cinema. <laughs> now, it's much more wholesome. And what a hoot of a movie. You're in for a real treat. What is taking them so long? Why don't they open? Say, why don't we come again on Saturday? We'll make it a double date. You bring Mary Jane, and I'll bring Mandy. Uh, next weekend, maybe. I'm taking German classes at the library this weekend. Oh, they're good. Hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff? Practice your German, dear. You'll need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, mein Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa. That he made the atom bomb. And then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet you're behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. <sighs> Wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will we ever get home-cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? Hold your horses. Sure can. Yes. If we ever get service in this godforsaken place. Oh, hello there, sir. Please, have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? I want the chili. We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Laskowitz, Spishy knows you're coming to attack the Oberkommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Come on, Peter, let's go someplace else. But, Mom, we no have any butts. Oh! Bitte schön. Danke. Have a good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. 
<laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is too. Are you out of Station One? There you go, Commandant. Oh, vielen Dank. Hmm. <laughs> now you. Show me your identification papers. Please. Mm. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more... German. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Kommandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Not that I don't trust you, Blaskwitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskwitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special, lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come, follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. That's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part, you know. I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Smash? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. <laughs> Cookie? Uh, it's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah, pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by bottomless lakes, 
Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51 over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's, uh, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, there's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, it, it ain't Martian. Okay, all right, all right. right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. It ain't space aliens. I talk. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 cargo train loading depot. All right. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free from shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains.
Okay, Payton, you need to shove that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Ober Commando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien and shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby.
hätte nichts sagen sollen.
Welcome back to PlayStation Underground, uh, and I've got Zach Miner here, and Ryan Clements, and I'm Sid Schumann, and we are checking out Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. Wolfenstein 2. Is it Wolfenstein 2? I believe it's Wolfenstein 2. Wolfenstein 2. 2. Is it, can you confirm the what? The new Colossus. Is it a numeral or a Roman numeral? It is a Roman numeral. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we, we just got a, we're taking a look at, this is, I think, the first mission from the game here. I believe uh, so. This is all stuff that uh, Sid and I played through a couple weeks ago and captured some footage. Um, so I thought it'd be good to share it here with Ryan, who has not seen much of this game yet. I'm a newbie. That's right. This is from Machine Games. They did the original title uh, a few years ago that was quite the cult hit uh, yes. er early on on PS4. Awesome game. And, Zach, I think it's safe to say we thought this looked real good. We did. We did. We um, it, we started off there, and you, you saw just kind of the, uh, like the difficulty selection screen, which... You know, it's a difficulty selection screen. Obviously, there's a <laughs> great heritage uh, in the Wolfenstein games of that. But I feel like it sets the tone of this game just quite well right off the top. It does. And and you know what else sets the tone well is the fact that you're fighting in a wheelchair right now. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, Th this is me, by the way, isn't it? I'm I, pretty sure. I think that this is you. I <laughs> think this is you. I loved the, like, warning shot at the beginning. <laughs> you're like, I don't know if that guy's all the way down. Uh, he's down. Um, but yeah, this is, so you wake up uh, several months, I believe, after the events of the first Wolfenstein. And if you played through uh, the New Order, uh, that first, the first machine games, Wolfenstein, uh, then you are aware that uh, BJ gets pretty messed up at the end there. Um, so hence you waking up, um, the Nazis have assaulted uh, this kind of boat that uh, you and your crew are hiding out on. And you have to take matters in your own hands. Thankfully, um, the boat that you're in was uh, designed with accessibility in mind. It sure was. So, uh, you know, as well as an array of lethal traps that we'll see a little later. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, now, this th notice this health meter ticking back down to 50. That's an interesting challenge here early in the game. Y right. Exactly. So, you know, your uh, obviously your uh, your full array of BJ abilities are, are not quite there yet. Uh, so uh, you can like you can overcharge your health, but it's always going to fall back to fifty. It's a, it's a little bit difficult. It's tough. Um, yeah, and, and 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 this is really just an interesting sequence in this game because the physicality you're sort of traversing through this environment. You you, you remarked after we played Zach that uh, just just the feeling of of you know like at one point you fall out of the chair and you're like clambering back in. It's really just really well made game. I don't know any other way to put it. Definitely, and um, it looks gorgeous too. I mean. The, the first games, the, both the New Order and also the, the downloadable campaign were both gorgeous. But Indeed. I and think they're, they're going along now, with that tradition. Machine games, incredible mechanics, incredible shooting mechanics, but also great storytellers. Yes, great storytellers. Uh, the, the writing in just kind of the small chunks that we saw was really impressive, um, as were the performances. Um, you know, this is kind of... One of the <laughs> <laughs> I heard you giggling when that... What is going on? I remember we were playing, we both were playing at the same time, Zach and I, and I heard him giggle when that happened. Happened and I was like, yeah, I get What just happened to those guys? It's like a microwave oven Holy trap. smokes. Yeah. I hope they have a lot of warning signs, like, put up in place. 
For the bad guys? Yeah, for the but well, you know, just for staff of the boat. <laughs> I mean, right? You don't want someone to accidentally wander in there on their lunch break. Well, I think this guy's telling us about how he's rigged this whole place up with a bunch of these to keep those mean Nazis from taking over. So okay. we're gonna learn a little bit more about all of that okay. in just a minute. Do we do we know this character from the original game? Yes, yes. the gentleman with glasses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that, it's awesome. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they, they dev there's definitely a dark sense of humor at work in the in these games. I would you, th say. you think so? I think so. Just maybe a touch. Here just we go. A light sense of humor. Now, just just details I love. Look at the the delicate uh, lattice work of blood splattered on the knees and on the the forearms. There. Oh, yeah. I mean, little details like that really go a long way. Not careful. Yeah. No. We have uh, flashed ahead a little bit, and, and and BJ's been through some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Since the last time we saw him, um, but the like. The w it, it's fascinating that the game starts you off by controlling BJ in a wheelchair. I mean, it kind of, in some ways, goes without saying. But I, it's almost like tank controls. Mm -hmm. Like you're playing, like you know, the original Resident <laughs> Evil or something. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I, as you were mentioning, said like, uh, Machine Games does a really great job of like modeling hands and modeling feet and making it feel like you are really kind of in, you're making it feel like you are BJ, right? You're, yeah. Um, you're, you know, touching and feeling different pieces of the environment here. Look um, at this. I'm, I'm like totally blown away. Look at this clamber action right here. I mean, right, that's second I, to none. See, I, I do want to, okay, well, do we need to talk about Let, this? Let's, talk, so about let's this. talk about this. So um, there were some skill trees in uh, Wolfenstein 1. It feels like they've been fleshed out big a little time, bit. Big time, big um, time. All of these, uh, similar to the first game, are kind of based on um, how you're playing. So if you're playing a certain way, you're going to be able to invest in those. That diesel craft work there is like a kind of a grenade launcher. Oh, that's so fun. It's yep. such a fun weapon. Lots of different ways to modify your weapons to your mm -hmm. heart's content. This is obviously my footage since I went for the suppressor, mm -hmm. um, trying to go for a more stealthy route. Um, so here we're flashing ahead. So here we are on American soil. Um, so we're going ahead to another mission where we're in Roswell, New Mexico, and we have to infiltrate a military base that has been taken over by the Nazis. And this scene was pretty shocking yeah. uh, when we played it. What's in that? Uh, what's in that container you're carrying there, Zach? So that is a nuclear bomb, Sid. Oh, what? Um, <laughs> what are you guys <laughs> talking about? Are you serious? Yeah. So this coming up on here, this was one of the more kind of impressive story sequences that um, mm -hmm. I, I've seen in a, in a long time, actually. It's it's right out of it feels like it's out of a Tarantino movie. Yes. In a good way, yes. not in the sort of obvious shallow way, but in a good way. The tension, yep. uh, something it seems like it could have been in Glorious Bastards. It's yeah. uh, really well done. Take a look, Gander, here. I'm just going to set this uh, highly explosive device on the counter. No big deal. If you guys aren't pulling my leg. That's actually just a fire extinguisher. We're just kidding. <laughs> oh. Wait, really? No, no it's, okay. a, it's a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, mind your own business. Oh, yeah, this is from the trailer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh! Bitte schön. Danke. Good day, man. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. <laughs> if so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. I will say strawberry is my favorite flavor. I recognize your face. I like little Max. Very Aryan face it is too. Ooh. Notice how the TV in Are the back is now one? shifted. Oh mm. man, I did not notice oh, that. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> so that's your face on all those posters on that mm. TV. Mm -hmm. Now you, show me your identification papers, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just book it out of them. <laughs> Clonk him on the head with that fire pull, pull the on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this station. So am I. 
You know, I think this guy might be a Nazi. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. He drank that way too fast. It's not healthy. Oh, no. Major brain freeze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should just pass out. <laughs> I was captivated. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, now we're jumping ahead to um, kind of a, a train that's part of, that's connected to this military bunker that we had to uh, jump in, and um, this is kind of one of the bigger combat sequences that, that we played here. This is uh, myself playing, and if you played the, uh, as you can tell from the stealthy <laughs> nature, um, I was going to say to the twitchy movement of the camera compared sure. to Sid's slow, methodical approach. Well, you know, there are, there are times for both of those. Um, <laughs> you're going to notice right off the bat if you played the first game that that signal detected at the top of your screen there. Um, once again, there's kind of this mechanic where there are commanders um, that will uh, turn on the alarm or, oops, <laughs> missed, was a little bit low on my hatchet throw there. Um, <laughs> that they'll call in reinforcements, but of course, if you can take them out first before anyone's notified, then you're in good shape. So that's what I was trying to do. And Zach, I want to point out that this isn't just any old train. No. This is a rocket train. This is a rocket train. I, think, I believe it is a nuclear engine. Nuclear. Oh. It's pronounced nuclear. Oh. Lots of uh, time. Oh. That's oh. no good. That's no good. And the time for stealth is the end. time. <laughs> well, let's see if I can still kind of maintain my hatchet use here. Let's see if I can take out this alarm. Um, this, unfortunately, um, you know, it perhaps is not shown the, the, the best here, but the level design on this train was astonishing. Like this is, you're seeing essentially kind of one lane that you can go through on this, but you can climb underneath the train. There we go. That's no, no more alarm from you. Um, you can go underneath the train. You can climb on top of the train. They're kind of like, obviously, the underneath, main pathways. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath, in, or above. It's amazing. Uh, and, and I took a totally different route here. You're, you're just doing this all wrong in my book. Well, but, uh, but you're still getting results, so I'll let it slide. Yeah, so yeah. That, that commander you took out, tell yes. me a little bit about how they work. Yeah, so the commanders, um, they are kind of constantly broadcasting the signal. Um, I don't know kind of exactly where they are, but there was that little icon that points me in their general direction. And so if... You know, you know, the guns start firing off and they hear gunfire, then they're going to start calling in waves and waves of reinforcements. Um, and they're actually going to react to where you move throughout the level. So they'll run away from they'll you. They'll run away from you, um, try and preserve themselves so they can keep calling in reinforcements. So here's a little taste of you, Sid. Um, oh, yeah. See, this, this is now. Right, you, yeah. <laughs> right off uh, <laughs> boom, boom. a slightly different tact. This um, shotgun, by the way, is so good. I love the shotgun in this game. Totally. And, and even though you barely saw me kind of using the, the arsenal at your disposal here. Look at those bikes, by the way. What's something out of a circus? Um, the gun play is so satisfying. And, of course, the incredible dual-wielding system is back. It's a pooch. Uh, yep, there are some, some terrible pooches here. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, the way that I played the first game was really try to take down those commanders first, go down super stealthy, and... Um, they're way more brutal, and they feel a lot smarter than they were in the first game. Yeah, and I'm using uh, an assault rifle here uh, with armor-piercing bullets, so the, the particularly strong against the armored enemies, the robots. The robots I found to be just some of the most uh, lethal adversaries in this game. Definitely, and, and you have to you have to get pretty creative with uh, kind of how you take them down. I don't think you guys are paying customers on this train, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of no-ticket references. Um, so come we're home, just, come home. We're just kind of wrapping up here a little bit. Ryan, do, what are your kind of thoughts getting a look at this? Uh, it makes me want to go back and actually finish the original games oh, because yeah. I shamefully have not completed the story mode, and I, I've always wanted to, even it's though now I know that kind of what happens. Yeah. So Now we're seeing me play oh. here, and I, think, <laughs> and I think I'm playing much better than Zach did. <laughs> who, do you, who do you think played better? <laughs> Email us at blogcastatplaystation.com. I agree. I agree, Sid. Or you're, you're, right. you're right. You're always right. <laughs> uh, so we're just wrapping up here. Um, just a few more seconds to go. 
we're kind of pulling into this train station. And I thought this was really interesting. I did this completely differently, mm. um, where you can, you like, you know, gradually brought the train to a halt. I just plowed it straight into oh, really? uh, <laughs> the wall <laughs> and <laughs> it let everyone know that I was, uh, that I was showing up. I didn't know that could be different. This um, what a game. What a game. So um, Wolfenstein 2, uh, the new Colossus is looking great and out this October on PS4. PlayStation.